So the more and more I do one-to-one -one sessions with people and talk with people and get to, to spend sort of years or a few years getting to know people, the thing that I notice the most is how people hear this teaching and they understand it, like intellectually they really understand it, but it's like they understand it, but when it comes to what that actually means in life, it's it's like chucked away. I suppose when you get into this subject, it's the seeker that's seeking to use this subject to have a happier, better life. And it takes non-duality for a period of time attempting to do that with non-duality until it fails. And it begins to see that it can't find freedom in time. So I know people that I speak to and they know this so well and they seem so self-aware and they seem to really understand this subject but this is an example they always have to be doing something or when I meet with them they can't just slip into silence they always have to talk or cover the silence and it doesn't even occur to them that that's seeking. That is seeking. To always have to be doing something, to never be able to sit in silence. But this is so radical, this subject. It's like if everything was taken away, if all your goodies and all your juice and all the things you love were taken away, there is still this vast freedom. Freedom isn't in time. It's really radical. It's not something that you hear, you understand, you see that there is this freedom, but then you still look to always occupy yourself or you still look to line everything up your way. There is no freedom in time, it's that simple. There is no freedom in things. That means that this is enough. What's happening is enough. What is right now. And so when that energy comes to try to avoid this and get to the next moment, while well, you feel separate, just put your attention on that feeling of seeking, of trying to get away from this, of trying to avoid this, and just allow it to come up. If you feel agitated, just allow the agitation to be there. If you feel annoyed, just allow the annoyance to be there. If you ha feel happy, just allow the happiness to be there. Now that one we don't try to seek to get rid of, so we're like, oh yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> Maybe we're seeking to hold on to that. This is it. And this is empty and full simultaneously. The freedom isn't in what my words mean, it's not in where it's going, it's in the very sound of the words. 
It's in what's happening. This is freedom. In the sensation, in the sights, in the smells, in the sounds. And this isn't happening to someone. This isn't personal. There is no one this is happening to. It's so exciting. <laughs> what could be better than that? <laughs>